Next question is from Just a Girl and Her Jeep. Hey. <laughs> like Any it. tips specifically for female ectomorphs? I listened to you talk about how difficult it is for women to gain a sculpted physique. I'm just discouraged. Uh, this is my favorite, one of my favorite categories of people to train are women who are ectomorphs, who actually come to me, and I've only had, I haven't had a ton of these, but the ones I've had, I've had great success with. They actually come to me and say, I want, I need help gaining weight. It's a lot of fun. Well, it's a lot of fun because it's very closely related to our own struggles, it, right? Well, and then not just not <laughs> yeah. just that, but but women, there is very little information in marketing that targets women that want to gain. You don't see that a lot. You just don't. And so they come to me and they're like, I don't know what to do. Not only that, but because women have been hammered more than men mm -hmm. uh, with don't overeat, that oftentimes the ectomorph aspect of it is because they're afraid to actually push right. the calories. Yep. So when I get a female client that wants to gain, um, it's really not that different from when I get a male client that wants to gain. I'm going to train you for strength. Typically, it's a two or three day a week full body routine, more like a MAPS anabolic type of program. In fact, that would be the perfect program uh, for someone like this. Then I would have them eat uh, a high protein diet. We're looking at anywhere between you know, 0 0.6 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. Um, I'm looking at and figuring out their their maintenance calories, and I'm having them eat about three to four hundred calories over that. Um, and then let's rock and roll and have a lot of fun. The other reason why I love this is because the results that they get are phenomenal. Yeah. When women start to build muscle, especially if they're ectomorphs, they just start to gain curves. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Their butt starts to develop, their hamstrings start to develop, they get better posture, they start to feel stronger, which is a very empowering feeling. For a woman, I'll never forget uh, years ago, I trained this, uh, Jennifer was her name. She was an ectomorph and she actually came to me with uh, this particular goal. And I'll never forget about four months into the training, she, you know, comes, she went on a vacation, right? She comes back to work out with me and she goes, the coolest thing happened to me. She goes, I've never been able to take my heavy suitcase and put it in the overhead compartment uh, on the plane, usually I have to ask my husband or someone for help. She's like, I was able to do mine. I was able to do my kids and my husband's. She goes, it's really crazy how, how strong and amazing I feel. So one of my favorite categories, and you can definitely gain weight and build muscle, just follow the same Con principles that we talk about. There's a little bit of a, a psychological hurdle for this, this, uh, you know, client in particular, mm -hmm. not always, but sometimes where, they're they're fearful of the the calorie side because of adding inches. You know they're mm -hmm. used to their clothes fitting a certain way, and they want to build muscle, but they don't want to put any body fat on. And you know if you increase calories, which means you're probably going to increase carbs, which means you're probably going to increase sodium, which means you're going to end up holding more water and you're going to look fuller. There is this this instant fear. It's very similar to the same fear that we got as guys trying to build muscle of, oh, I'm just getting fat or the weight fluctuation freaking out when it's really just water coming in and out. So I normally have to speak to that, right? I have to let them know that, listen, trust in me that I'm going to be, you're going to be okay. We're not going to all of a sudden overnight put 30 pounds on you. It's going to be not, it's going to be very subtle, but because we're increasing calories and increasing carbohydrates, there's a very good chance your body's going to hold a little bit of water. You'll feel a little puffy. That's temporary right now. The goal is to build strength. We want to add weight to the bar and increase calories. And I'll show you that we're going to build muscle. To me, that's the hardest part is getting them to be okay with they might feel their shirt or their pants fill out or feel a little bit different while we're trying to do this. And don't get don't be fearful of that. Oh my God, I'm mm -hmm. getting fat. Okay, we're in a calorie surplus. Your body's probably holding a little more water while we're doing this. We're going to build some muscle. I can always, and you're an ectomorph, peeling you back down is actually really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've found that a lot in my experience with a client like this. It's just a constant conversation that needs to be had, not just between me and my client, but also, you know, internally in their own, uh, you, you know, scenarios. They need to talk their way through this and, and extract the sort of societal pressures or whatever pressures they're putting on themselves uh, to always be this like super lean, uh, uh, you know, body and, and, and be happy with that. But, but, you know, once they cross over and find that a well-fed body, what that feels like and what it actually starts to look like, there's so much freedom in that. And it's just like liberating for, for these clients to get to that point.